Looks like your immune system can fall for fake IDs just as easily as a bouncer at a college bar. Thanks for tuning in to D News today. I'm Trace. Your immune system is a fantastic thing. It's kind of like an army with a huge R&D budget. The system is constantly working to keep invaders out or at bay while creating antibodies to fight any new enemies it finds. Right now, inside of your body, a battle is raging. It's constant and it's deadly. Your cells are not just killing the invaders. Oh no, they're building walls around them, they're destroying them, and then they're consuming them. That's pretty sick. The problem is, our immune system attacks anything that wasn't made by our own bodies, good or bad. So if, say, you had a nanoparticle injected in you to help deliver drugs or fight infection, your body would attack it the same as if it were invading bacteria. But medical researchers at the University of Pennsylvania have found a way for things that should not naturally be in our bodies to blend in like James Bond. Okay, not exactly like James Bond because he blows up a lot of stuff, but you get the point. They created what they're calling a protein passport that lets something that shouldn't be in your body float around in there unmolested. Inside of you are two immune systems. The first line of defense is the innate immune system. Think of it like the infantry. It drops the hammer immediately and then behaves by the book every single time. The second is the adaptive immune system and it's more like military intelligence. The system learns about the enemy, it devises a way to fight a specific infection, and will remember how to defeat that infection forever. The protein passport tricks the first system into believing the nanoparticle is a friendly. Our innate system identifies a threat by sticking proteins to it. Once they've found it out, it's like a spy behind enemy lines. They call in the giant Russian guy and he beats the enemy into submission. But inside the human body, it's worse. It's totally worse. The giant guy in this case is called a macrophage, which literally means big eater because that's what it does. It eats the invader. The researchers knew that they needed a certain protein called CD47 to convince the macrophages their invader was safe. They found CD47 sticking to other friendly cells using a protein called SERPA. So by adding the SERPA to their own nanoparticles, they got the CD47 to stick to it, and the new protein disguise told those macrophages that these weren't the nanoparticles they were looking for. Right now, your body doesn't know that a pin in your knee is helping you because it's not covered in CD47. So instead of letting it alone, your immune system throws millions of cells against its cold walls trying to rid it of the disease, potentially causing chronic inflammation and pain. This new discovery could be a huge deal for drug delivery systems, chronic pain patients, and anyone with an artificial implant of any kind. Who knew that our immune system was such a beast? I think it might be my favorite function of the human body that I didn't even think about. Hmm. What's yours? Share it with all of us, and thanks a lot for checking us out here on D News. Come back every day for two videos, seven days a week. We'll be seeing you.